I was just minding my own business, getting some gas in my motorcycle, when I hear this thing thumping coming along up there, and I turn around, and it was this little falcon. I was like, dang, that's cool. Let's go talk to this guy. So I did. Hey, sir. I know this ain't the first time this happened to you. You care if I look at your car? No. You want to tell me about it? Sure. Uh, see, I knew that would work. Is the reason I went ahead and turned this thing on. Because if you're driving an old car, you want somebody to ask you about it anyway, so. 63? Two. 62, I missed it a whole year. So, look at this thing. And if you've been watching my channel at all, you know I am one more Falcon guy. You know, even though all mine are what they call square bodies, I still like these things. That's cool. What rear end you got in that thing? That's a nine inch Ford. 373s and a, a, a limited slip. 373s and a limited slip. I'm sorry, 370. 370s. 370s. I'm putting 373. Can I open it? Sure. I love the matte finish. That's cool. Look at that. Left the dash, the original. We tried to keep it period correct for 1969. Period correct for 1969. I love the steering wheel. Which means the MSD box is hidden up underneath the dash, so it can't be seen. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. And uh, look at his stickers. Hey, if you remember, I got a set of them Cal Customs that was designed by Hal and Moody. What kind of motor is this thing? <coughs> All right, looks like it's got a straight axle under it, right? Yep. Put a, it's a 3-8 small speedway heavy duty axle. It, it had a regular uh, straight axle under it when I bought it, but it was bent. It was bent. And so hey, I, I ordered up a heavy one, and believe me, it's, it's, it's up to the task. Oh, yeah. Disc brakes, all that stuff. That's pretty cool. What kind of power plant? We got uh, started life as a 302. Uh, oh, unfortunately, started it's... life as a 302, and you know I like that. And uh, we made it a 331. It's got all forged internals, including the crank, the pistons, the rods, the eagle crank, eagle rods, Mallee pistons, about 10 to 1 ratio, 10 to 1 compression ratio. Cam is from Howard's. Wow. Cam, it's got 576 lift wow. and uh, the gross duration 302. So it's it's uh, it's pretty hefty, it's, ain't it? It's ornery. Yeah, ornery, he says. Heck yeah, look at this. Yeah. It doesn't like to climb trailer ramps, let's put it that way. I'm bad. And Such a neat car. Wakes up about 2500 or so. It's wakes up about 2500 or so. And I want you to look at the nice job this gentleman's done on this car. I mean, it is really, really neat. I like it. Disc brakes? Yep. Just yeah, I seen that. Yeah, disc brake. Hey, has it got a hydraulic clutch in it, or a, is it still mechanical? No, it's a, it's a Z-bar. A Z-bar, so Z -bar still? Okay. I've been debating on whether to go hydraulic or Z-bar on mine, I which I've got the Z-bar stuff. I talked to some old drag racers, and uh, very few of them use a the hydraulic setup for power shifting. It says it's just not fast enough. I don't know how it couldn't be, but I'm taking it. I'm taking that from a man that's 80 years old now and done it most of his life. Right. Well, if we well, can't actually, power shift actually, that bad boy. Actually holds uh, e-gas uh, records in uh, 1967, 68. Such a nice job he's done on this. So, you told me there, um, you built this at your house, right? Correct. Look at this. So, see there. For all you guys that thinks you gotta have some big fancy something other, here's another fella that built his dream car in his backyard. Now he might not have built it on the dirt in the barn like I'm doing mine, but that is one really neat car right there. Oh, and I just noticed, I love the blue tinted glass. Yep. That'd be like, that'd be period right too there, yep. you know. That's a film you can get from, uh, yeah. what, what the name of the, name of the place is that got it. That's neat. Hey, and look here, even under its bottom, it's slick. Remember me talking about how anybody can make it slick on the... We stiffened up the on chassis the, with down bars. Oh, look at that. X bracing in the... Uh, All that. Edge. Wow. And, uh, subframe connectors the whole deal. What a nice car. The beauty is underneath the car, not so much on the top. It's, it's, uh, well, here. I ain't pace getting down. Oh, wow. See there? This got me some goals going right here, fellas. All this transmission, all that. Probably can't tell all that. Ladder bars all set up nice. Cross members there. 
Wow, what a nice job. Everything's nicely painted and fixed. Cool. Oh, hey, is that a, uh, oh, that's just your stabilizer back there. No, it's got a, what do you call that setup you got on the back? Coilover. Yeah, I like that. Coilover and pan hardbar. Coilover and pan hardbar. Let's look back here at the back. That was what I was debating on mine. What to put it back in, but I think I'm just going to put mine back stock. Since he's got it. Oh, yes, fuel cell, all this stuff. Wow. Really nice. Really nice. All right. Well, uh, we thought we'd uh, get people to wonder about something. They open the trunk and they find a fuel cell and it's sitting on top of a original floor uh, trunk mat. Look at that. <laughs> what a neat touch is that. A what about that? See there, look there. He didn't leave nothing untouched. Really? Oh, you mini tubbed it. I like how you done that. When I bought the car, it, That's neat. it, it had mini tubs and it had, the wheel wells were not cut at that time. And I ended up uh, radiusing them, them a couple times and uh -huh. then building tubs to go from there and, and weld to a, a piece of three eighths inch right. uh, fuel line tubing to give the give the quarter panel a soft edge and soft. stiffen the quarter yeah. panel. Wow, so. such a nice job. Such a nice job. All right, sir. Man, I thank you for taking your time out to let me do this and everything. So I appreciate it. All right. Now I got to go get to doing some honeydew stuff. <laughs> Car people are just great people. Here I come rolling up on this guy. His name's Marty. And he showed me all about his car. And uh, like I said about a hundred times, man, that's a nice car. Car people are awesome.